In the winter of 878, the young King Alfred of Wessex resided at his hunting lodge near Chippenham, seeking respite from a lengthy conflict with the Danish Vikings. Unbeknownst to Alfred, the Vikings camped nearby, awaiting their moment to strike. On the celebration of Twelfth Night, the Danes crept into the Chippenham fortress under cover of darkness. The Danes slit many throats before the alarm was raised, but they could not find the young King of Wessex. Defended by his Saxon brethren, Alfred escaped into the West Somerset through the Althaini swamps. In hiding, Alfred awaits for news and the chance to rise again. Yeah, what do you want? Ma'am. My friends and I are very hungry. So what do you want me to do about it? Do you have any chores we can do for food? Often beggars, seldom kings. Come on in, join the rest of us who are down on our fortunes. I hope you like burned bread since that's all we're eating today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that is my fault. I was distracted with other matters, and I let our meal burn. Please, excuse me. What's the matter with him? Ah. The young king ain't well. Always having to relieve himself, he is. Little good food does him no longer than it stays in his bowels. Straddling a privy instead of a horse. <laughs> king? Did you say king? Yes, I did. How long has he been here? Oh, a few days, but I'll tell you one thing. He can't rule his kingdom from a swanner's hut, no matter how much he wants to drive those damned Vikings from our land. Perhaps he needs a bit of help. A swanner's hut, the seat of Saxon authority? The Danes would search a thousand years and never find it. Like Christ the King, born in a manger. Only God can plan such an ingenious scheme. So, you know. Yes, yes your majesty. majesty. But without a kingdom, I am but a poor man. Dependent upon the mercy of others, I am the bane of a swineherd's wife. <laughs> yes, and the one who burns the bread that others must... Share with him. <laughs> oh, come on, boys, sit down and eat your burned cakes before they get any colder or blacker. <laughs> you know there is truth in what she says. What do you mean, sire? Our gracious hostess insists that I burn bread for myself that others must also eat. Here are the reality of her words. The people of Wessex wait on me. If I hide, so must they. And were I to fight, alone against the Danes, the people of Wessex would stand with me. The bread I bake, they must also eat. For I am the king of Wessex. May all the saints be praised. Wessex has a king. <laughs> now you boys, finish your bread. I'll go find my husband. He has friends, and they have friends. And by and by, Wessex will have an army again. Sovereign, you need not stand alone, for I will stand with you. There's not a night where I fail to hear my mother scream or see the Viking who defiled her. When our village in Mercia burned, I swore an oath with my brothers that we would take vengeance upon the Danes. Sire, if you would accept me, I would seek to honor my vow. I would be proud to have you at my side. We will serve you as well.
Thank you.